In this tutorial I will guide you through how to make the curve stone detail of the pedestrian curve stone. So I have the example here. I will have one pedestrian curve stone with an offset of 8 cm from the top of the curve stone and then for this horizontal line. I have another detail where I have an offset of 10 cm and then the last one with an offset of 12 cm. To get started I will draw the curve stone, so I will select the line. I will specify the starting point and in this case I will move the mouse to the left and from the bottom you can see that I'm able to type in an X and a Y. If you're not able to type in an X and a Y you can hit the space key on your computer and then it will change to distance and angle or if you want to have X and Y. In this case I want the line to have a length of 0 0.07 meters so I will type in 0 0.07 and then left click with my mouse drag the cursor downwards and in this case I want to have a length of 0 0.3 left click with the mouse drag the cursor to the right type in a distance of 0 0.1 left click to place the line, move the mouse upwards and then type in a distance of 0 0.17 and left click and now you want to connect this point to the point up here and right click to get out of the command. The next step is to add the curves so we'll have a small curve in the upper part right here with a radius of 0 0.01 and we will have a radius of 0 0.02. So I will start by selecting the arc. In this case I will activate the tangent snap so I will double click and now I need to specify the radius. I will start with the one with 0 0.01. Hit enter. I will select the first borderline and then the second borderline and now I'm able to place the arc. I will change the radius to 0 0.2, hit enter, specify the first borderline and then the second borderline and left click to place the arc. And to get out of the command I will select the element selection. The next step is to trim the curves. So in this case I want to remove this part of the curve so if I go to the seventh icon and press down my left mouse button and I can select trim to element. In this case I want to select the part that I want to keep so it's this part right here and I want the arc to be trimmed according to this borderline. I will do the same over here so I will select the part that I want to keep and I want to trim it according to this borderline. And I will do the same with this part up here, so I will select the line that I want to keep and I want to trim it according to the arc. Do the same here. So now I have the curved stone and the next step is to add, add the concrete footing. And to do this I need to go to the third icon I need to select Move Parallel. In this case I want to offset some of the lines and the first line that I want to offset should be 0 0.1 and I want to mark Keep Original. Probably in your case it says Make a Copy so just mark it. I will select the first borderline. I will move the cursor to the right and then left click to place the line and right click to get out of the command. I will do the same with the bottom line, move the cursor downwards, left click to place the line. Also I want to copy the line on top, so I will left click to place the line and right click to get out of the command. The next line I want to offset should have a distance of 0 0.15. I will select this line right here and I will move it to the left, 
left click to place the line and right click to get out of the command and also this line I will move above left click to place the line and right click to get out of the command the next step is to create the concrete footing so in this case we want to extend the lines and we can use if we go to the seventh icon select trim to element in this case I want to extend this line so it will be connected to the bottom line right here I will select the line and I want to extend it to this line do the same with this line right here and this line right here I want to stop at this level right here so I will select the line and I want to trim it according to the bottom of the curve stone do the same over here and the next step is just to add a line and I will connect the top point right here and let's see I want to activate the snap function again and I want to snap to the upper line and then right click to get out of the command I want to join this point to the line that I have right here and right click to get out of the command in this case we can just remove the two lines so I will just select element selection and afterwards I can select the two, two lines and hit delete and now I just want to add a pattern to indicate this is a concrete footing to add the pattern we can select the crosshatch area and in this case I will keep the spacing of 0 0.05 and have an angle of 45 goals and also for the other spacing I will select the flood and then click inside of the closed region click once more to accept and now we have the pattern for the concrete footing the last part is just to add a horizontal line to indicate the offset set level so I will select a line snap to the top of the curve stone and just make a line with a certain distance which perhaps is a bit longer than the edge of the concrete footing and now I want to make a copy of the detail so I will select everything I can right click and select copy specify a starting point and in this case I will make two more copies and now I will move this line so it will be offset with a distance of 8 cm so I will select the line go to the third icon and select move and I will specify a starting point drag the mouse downwards and I want to move it with a distance of 0 0.08 and then left click to place the line and right click to get out of the command I will select the next line and I can use the move tool again specify a starting point and I can type in the distance of 0 0.1 left click to place the line and right click to get out of the command and if I select the next line again select move specify a starting point drag the mouse downwards and type in a distance of 0 0.12 and left click to place the line and right click to get out of the command the last part is just to trim off this piece of line so again go to the seventh icon select trim to element select the part of the line that you want to keep and then trim it according to the edge of the curve stone and just do this with all of the details 